Ha, better. Now the video has a title. Now you know what we're doing. <clears throat> I hope you all hop back on. There was like 10 of you. <laughs> Come on back on with me. <clears throat> We should be good now. Hello, Krista. Welcome. Welcome, 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 everybody. Come on in, get comfy. <clears throat> get your paper ready, crayons, pencils, erasers, whatever you have, okay? Paint, watercolors, pastels. Whatever you have on hand. Hey, Barry. All right, we're doing the moon and the sun today. Let me fill this up a little bit. Good. Okay. Come on in and get comfortable. <clears throat> Starting about 12. No, I lied. No, I didn't. About 12 minutes. <laughs> I'm sorry, about 12 minutes. <laughs> Hi there, Keith. Hello, hello. Guys, make sure you hit the share button in the bottom corner. That way everybody else can hop on too. They'll see it pop up on your wall and they can join in for a free art lesson. Okay, the more, the merrier. <clears throat> And oh, don't forget, if you are participating today, have something round to trace for our first step, okay? Have something round to trace. And you want it fairly large because it takes up most of the paper, okay? So have something large to trace that's circular. Big round lid to a container, a container, a pot lid. This is a strainer. All right, so hello, Emma. So anything that you have at home, to get your nice, perfect circle in the center, okay? So have that with you when we go to do this, okay? Have that with you. <clears throat> get started in about 10 minutes at 1.05 Eastern time. Have pencil, paper, canvas, whatever it is you're drawing on and drawing with and whatever you're painting or coloring with, okay? Colors today, always, always have black and white. That's a standard, okay? Always black and white. And then yellow, orange, and red. And then depending on what other color, color you want the eyes on the sun, I did mine brown, so that's up to you. And then a bunch, whatever blues you have, okay? If you have a variety of different blues, have all those, okay? If you only have one blue, that's fine too. Whatever you have. So I, in the previous weeks when all this first started, I put up um, I put up a bunch of items you could order on Amazon if you wanted to buy like certain art supplies and you didn't want to use just what you had at home. Uh, the problem is now is like everything is sold out on Amazon, like everything. So I now am using michaels.com and they are shipping. So, and they're having 20% off of, I think everything that's not on sale, 20 or 25% off. So if you're looking to order more supplies so you have other things other than maybe crayons or something at home you want to have like paint or things like that go to michaels.com okay that's what uh that's where i had to order a couple things recently because amazon just doesn't have it and they don't know when they're going to be back in stock it said um pretty much for all the items that i wanted of course so <laughs> michaels seems to be the way to go right now hopefully that doesn't happen with them too that would be bad <clears throat> Cause then we'll all be like painting and drawing on our walls next. <laughs> our houses would look pretty cool by the end of this, right? If that's what we had to do, that's fine. Our houses would just be very, very colorful. Actually might be cool. We should do that in the class. <laughs> just kidding kids. I'm just kidding. Don't do that. Kidding. Although we, we did tell our daughter 
she had she re we repainted well I shouldn't say we repainted I did not Chris repainted the doors upstairs um, a couple weeks ago they just were dingy and they need to be repainted white so on the inner door of her bedroom Madison had free reign to do whatever she wanted to so she did a bunch of cool um, flowers and things like that which is really awesome again kids don't do things like that unless your parents give you permission <laughs> you guys are gonna be like you're never watching Miss Tracy again ever ever she gives bad ideas <laughs> just trying to keep us creative and sane that's all <clears throat> Okay, and again, yes, don't forget something to trace, something circular that will take up most of your canvas or paper, whatever you're drawing on, for the shape of your uh, sun and moon combined, okay? That's going to be our first step when we get there. You did your front door? Awesome. So have something to trace when we get started, okay? Pot, lid of a pot, um, a container, uh... I mean, there's all. I mean, depending on how big the surface you're working on is. So depending on how big the paper you're you're doing is going to be. It's like obviously mine's giant, so I have this uh, strainer, this colander here, which is weird to me that there's no handles on it. I think they, oh they did they broke off. <laughs> um, so mine takes up again most of your paper and your vertical today. I mean sorry horizontal horizontal. I know my difference. <laughs> horizontal with your page, okay. That's important. <clears throat> Get started in about six minutes. All right, six minutes. We'll get hello from Robbinsville. Hello from East Hampton. Hi. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back. I got my Bob Ross t shirt on today, so I'm definitely thinking um, the eyeballs, the googly eyes, right? Because it picks up the eyeballs on Bob. Let's see. Let's see. I hope they're on there today. Hmm. Yep. There they are. Let's see what happens. Oh. <laughs> Just didn't get a kick out of that. It's so funny. Ta-da! Bob and I have googly eyes today. <laughs> Yay! All right. So come on in, guys. Again, hit the share button. On your, share it on your page with your friends, your family, whoever might be on right now, so they can join in too. <laughs> It's good to be back. I was off for four days because of a lovely leak in my house. My bedroom, uh, the master bedroom sink, I guess like where you turn like the faucet on underneath, I guess there's tubes that connect the pipe to where the spigots turn on. And I don't know if it cracked or whatever, but all night long apparently, water was spraying out into my house. So my bedroom rug, Bathroom upstairs, my ceiling in my kitchen, which it dripped down to, is completely destroyed. So, yeah. For three days, the fans were here, the dehumidifiers were drying everything out. And then tomorrow, the contractor comes and takes a look at giving us a quote on the damage. Not looking forward to this. So, that should be fun. Such is life, right? This too shall pass. This too shall pass. All right. <clears throat> Again, horizontal, okay, horizontal, have something round to trace for your, and make sure it's big, because this takes up pretty much the whole thing, so whatever you have round, make sure it takes up your, pretty much your whole piece of paper, okay? Ooh, someone's giving me lots of love. Who is that that just, oh, Leah. Hi, Leah. Hello. Welcome back. Leah never fails to come on and always sends me her artwork when she's done. I love when you guys send me all your finished artwork so I can post it. Please always do that. I love that. <clears throat> I really, really do. I really do. All right. Five more minutes, guys. We will get started. Look at Bob and his eyeballs. <laughs> I love Bob Ross. So soothing, his voice, right? I never... It's funny because when I was younger... I've always been, I've always done art. I went to arts, you know, art school. I have my bachelor's in illustration and everything. But even when I was young, young, and he used to be on PB, PBS, I want to say is what it was. I used to watch his shows and I'd have my canvases out and I would try to, you know, mimic how he did things. I just never could do his landscapes. I'm just not a landscape person. I can do them. Trust me, I can do them. But he just made it so easy looking, like just, just so easy. So, and he just, you know, great guy, great Great man, humanitarian, did a lot of things for animals and 
things like that. Just a good person. Hello in Collingswood. Hello in East Hampton. I'm in East Hampton. Not too far. About 35 minutes. Hey okay, guys, don't forget, hit the share button, get more people on. You know, it's funny when you're going through things, like since we're stuck in the house, I was just going through my downstairs bathroom cabinet and I found a bag of like jewelry, like costume jewelry, okay, nothing crazy. But I found this cool ring that I used to love so much. I know it's gigantic, but I love fun things like that. But isn't that cool? It's got all different stones in it and it's so pretty and bright and colorful. And you know what? I don't need a special occasion to put it on, so there. Hi, Kira. Kira, who's now 10 years old. Do you feel any different, Kira? <laughs> you feel like a 10 year old now? Double digits. <clears throat> Look, when my eyes go away, Bob's are still there. <laughs> three more minutes, everybody. We're gonna get started in three more minutes. We're gonna do this lovely celestial painting. Hey, Kathy. Kathy came on just to see Bob Ross's eyes. <laughs> I know, it doesn't feel any it doesn't feel any different when you're older either, Kira, as you get older. I'll be 42 this year. Oh, my eyes got smaller. Why does that happen? Whoa. <laughs> Sorry. I'll be 42 this year. But I feel I I guess I'm always I'll always be young at heart. I don't ever feel not that 42 is old, by any means. Um I don't know. I just always feel like a little kid. A little kid. Crazy little kid. But what, look, Bob's eyes got big. Wait, now we have the same size eye. I want mine to be huge like they were. Why did that happen? Ooh. <laughs> anyway, they're not as fun when they're small. I want them to take up half my face. Oh. No, they didn't come back big. Ooh. Maybe throughout the show they'll change. I don't know. All right. Two more minutes. Two more minutes. Two. What do you need? You need whatever kind of paper or if you have canvas, whatever you have at home, Danielle. Um, seriously, don't make it difficult. Whatever you have at home, pencil, paper, eraser, and then color wise, um, if you have a couple different blues, if you have crayons, color pencils, watercolor, whatever you have, okay? Um, some different blues. You need orange, yellow, and red and black and white, always black and white, no matter what class of mine you're taking. She is, oh, I'm so glad, welcome. Welcome, Ashi. Okay, so yeah, blues, if you have more than one blue, grab whatever blues you have, okay? White and black, and then red, orange, and yellow. And then I did brown eyes for my son. <laughs> my eyes just got really huge. Um, but you can do whatever color you want. You don't have to stick to that, okay? So you can, hi Lisa. You can, you can kind of do whatever color you want for the eyes, but yeah, you definitely want to have orange, yellow, and red. And if you have a variety of blues, grab whatever blues you have and black and white. Okay. That's what you want to have. Look at Bobby Ross. He's so funny. Okay. I'm trying to debate if I want to put my hair up while I teach. Sometimes I can't leave it down. I just, I just can't. And plus, well, I never get haircuts. I'm the worst. I am the worst. I'll go a full year without getting even a trim. I'm the worst. So I can't even say like, oh, I can't even get my hair cut right now because I wouldn't even if I could, just so you know. <laughs> really bad at that. Okay, and make sure you have something to trace that's circular that fills up most of your page, okay? Because that's gonna be our very first thing we do is we're gonna make the center circle, okay? So obviously I have something very big. I'm using a big, giant piece of paper here, okay? So I have a big colander for my center circle. Depending on the size of your paper, get something circular that you can trace the bottom of, okay? So, again, I'm working in marker, you guys are working in pencil, right? But I do marker so you guys can see what I'm doing, all right? So we are gonna get started, it's 105. All right, and if at any time you jump on the video late, you miss half of it, and you know, you can't, you can't rewind while I'm live, so you can't rewind while I'm live, but after I'm done and I hit the finish button, all of my videos, all of them go down into the video archive, so you can always pick up any of my videos and watch them at any time. All right, I'm gonna try to get this on here without moving my thing. So, whatever round surface you have to trace, you're gonna center it in the very center of your paper. <laughs> Me, I'm working upright, so this should be interesting. I'm going to try to hold it as still as possible. So very first thing you guys are doing is you are tracing that circle. 
Okay, trace your circle first. The center of your paper, your canvas, whatever surface you are drawing or coloring on. Okay, boom, big old circle in the center. Hello girls, Anshi and Sandy, welcome back. All right, so whatever you have to trace with, Again, I use the colander. You could use a, look, look at all these things I have here on hand. <laughs> Not even purposely, my son um, emptied the dishwasher and left stuff on the counter. Container lid. Whatever you have that fits your paper the best, depending on the size of your paper, that's what you're gonna use. Obviously I'm working on a very large paper, so I have a very large colander. So center it on your page, trace your circle, okay? Let's do that first. <clears throat> Oh, uh, thanks, Joanne. Yeah, definitely. Anytime you want to do them, just go into my, uh, like I said, the videos tab. You can do any of them anytime you want. Okay. All right. Everybody have their circle? Give me some thumbs up. We're going to move on. I'm going to start with my moon. Okay. I'm going to start with my moon. So I'm going further to the side than the center. Okay. So I'm going to the center and then a couple more inches over before I start my, my moon, okay? So again, watch me first and then you guys do it. So I'm coming over here. Down, I'm curving. And again, you're getting wider as you go down. Now he's got a bump for where his like eyebrow, his brow bone is. So it goes out, in, and then out a little further where his nose is. And then down a little bit and then he's got his lips okay so he's got a brow his brow bone is like a profile of the brow bone the nose this is this part of his lip his two lips and then I'm gonna come back down and around and go up the side okay so your moon it doesn't stop in the middle it goes almost not touching but I mean you know it goes a good way into the Sun side all right everybody get that part of your moon I'm going to bring it a little closer so you can see. Okay. <clears throat> and then give me some thumbs up and some hearts. Just so I know people are, you know, we're pretty much on the same page, okay? Okay, all right, awesome. Okay, so now still working on the moon's face, we're gonna add the little details of his face in, okay? <clears throat> so remember, this lump here is his nose that comes out here, so we're gonna do the little nostril line. It comes out and goes up a little, okay? So here, see that? We're gonna draw that there. And then where I indented in his lips, that's where his smile line is going to come out. Give him a little smile. Right? And now above his nostril area, okay, kind of below the brow bone, so in this area right here, okay, kind of this area right here, I'm going to draw his eye. Now his eye, it's a partial view of his eye. So we have the rounded part of his eye coming out and then the eyelid area and the lower. Okay. <clears throat> and then the inner part of his eye. I'm gonna do the one line and I'll bring this up closer so you guys can see though, okay. And then as I always tell you, draw that little highlight, okay? Okay, you see? So it's like a side view of his eyeball. Okay. And then give me some thumbs up and stuff, guys. Guys and gals, when I know you're ready to move on. All right, awesome. Okay, we're now gonna move on to the sun. Okay, the face on the sun. So about where his brow bone is, that's about 
where her eyes are going to come out. Okay. So I'm going to start with her one eye. Now, part of her one eye is a little bit behind his brow bone. Okay. So they're like almond shaped eyes. Okay. Let's get the shapes of the eyes first before we add any of the inner parts of the eyes. Okay. So now, once you have that shape, you kind of want to take your fingers and space it out so you at, pretend like you're adding another eye the same size in between and then add the next eye. That's how our faces are measured too. It's almost like you have eyes going across your face spatial wise. So we would have this one here. Take your fingers, measure it with your fingers. That's a blank space there. And now we're doing the other eye. Okay. This means it's evenly across the face. <clears throat> okay, and then you'll go in and you're going to add the iris and the pupil, okay, and of course the little highlight, right? And now I made my son a girl, like my moon's the boy and the sun is the girl. So on mine, and you don't have to do this if you don't want to, but I'm adding some thick eyelashes. Okay. So I added some eyelashes. Now I have these cool kind of, um, Wavy brows almost look like flames also. So above the eyes, I'm going to draw those. It's almost the same as the um, eyelashes we just did. Okay, kind of mimicking that. <clears throat> and curls there. Okay. Give her some cool eyebrows. <laughs> Elaine. <clears throat> Let you guys catch up on that. Let me know when you're good. Give me some thumbs up. <clears throat> it, oh, it did? Wait, googly eyes showed up on the sun. Wait, let me try something. Hold on, let me see. Wouldn't that be funny if it picked up? Oh, it doesn't recognize this as a face. Come on. Boo. Did it recognize it on here as a face that I was drawing when my on my back was to it? Oh, that's so cool. I missed it. I'll have to go back in the video and watch. <laughs> oh, oh, I just saw it. It just did. Why did it do it on my little one then? Isn't that funny? Oh, Chris, you're so cute. Oh, it did it again. Yo, it's bl it's blinking at us. <laughs> this is creepy. <laughs> Okay. Wow. That's, I saw that. Let's see if we can center it and see if it does it again. <laughs> what did you guys do on your quarantine? We played with Miss Tracy and filters. Ah, <laughs> uh, come on. It's not doing it again. Boo. Boo, Facebook. <laughs> All right. Hold on. Boo. Oh. <laughs> Why is it doing it and then take it away? Whatever. so funny okay <laughs> back to work <laughs> okay now <laughs> I'm going to draw the nose the nose is kind of in the center down okay I just did like a little half not even circle like half oval okay oh look at that she's looking at us every once in a while that's so funny and now my lips I'm gonna come on this side it's just easier Okay, so lips I shape like regular human lips or cartoony versions of them, but you get the point. All right, so when you're doing lips like this, you're gonna start with the curve in the center. Okay, and then I'm gonna go around and then up, down and around, up, and then back over. And, me, and then you need to do like little smile lines if you want to, okay? <clears throat> and then a line for the mouth in the middle that splits it in two. Okay. There's your lips. <clears throat> okay. 
and let me know when you guys are there. And we'll start adding the flamey look around the sun. <clears throat> I guess it's a good thing that the googly eyes don't stay up on the sun the whole time because then you wouldn't be able to see it to draw it, right? It's better that it's only once in a while. <laughs> All right. Now... To do this cool flamey look around the sun side, you want to actually start a little bit. So you know how we came a little bit over with the moon over on the sun side? Now we're going to come a little bit over on top with the sun on the moon side, okay? So I'm going to start, and these are just like wavy, curvy lines. Nobody's is going to be exactly the same, and that's okay. You're going to do this all around your sun. And you're going to, again, go a bit past the moon on each side, okay? Sharing is caring. The moon is sharing the sun side. The sun is sharing the moon side, okay? I know that sounded so cheesy. That was the point. <laughs> to make you guys laugh. That's what I'm here for. <clears throat> now, the only other thing I want you guys to do... Okay, and this is very lightly with your pencil, okay? Obviously, when I do it with marker, you're going to see it very dark. But just very light with, lightly with your pencil. Do you see how I have, like, kind of a dividing line on an angle where the light side blends into the dark side? So it kind of a line here and a line here. So you're kind of going to want to do like this, like you're splitting it in two almost. All right? So that way, when we know we do the night sky on this side, but it starts to blend into the sun side... So the light sky is on this side, okay? Just kind of give yourself a little bit of a line dividing the two sides up on an angle, okay? And then I'm going to get my paints ready. <clears throat> Look, it did it again with the eyeballs. That's so funny. All right. I'm going to start with my moon side, okay? I'm going to get all my moon side done first. So I'm going to put all my blues out. So again, whatever you're using, color pencils, crayons, watercolors. I'm using acrylic, but I water them down to make them look like um, watercolors. And I did, I, I used a wash almost in the background here too. So however you want to use your, what you have is fine. <clears throat> hey, Patty Saxton. How you doing? <clears throat> okay. I know. Isn't that fun? Googly eyes on, I wonder if I held my, wouldn't it be funny if I held my cat up? The googly eyes went on my cat. He's not over here right now, but that would be funny. That'd be really cool, actually. <clears throat> All right. So I'm doing a dark and light blue to start and some white, okay? Because there's like cloudy, cloudiness, you know, that, that galaxy look to it, right? <laughs> That's so weird that it keeps picking up on the sun like that. Weird and creepy. Charlie. What you doing there, old man? Huh? Hi, Charlie dog. What's up? Hi. What are you doing? Just getting a drink? All right. So, I'm doing a very loose background here. So, I'm going to start. So, and again, I'm using paint, so I'm kind of dabbing it on because I want that look where it kind of blends as you're painting. I'm not blending it ahead of time. I'm blending it as I paint on my page i'm even going to get a tiny tiny when i say tiny tiny bit of black in there to make the blue, some of the blue look even darker like a navy see that's like the littlest bit of uh black and it already comes up that that dark <clears throat> it's blinking <laughs> What the heck? That's so funny. All right, let me turn off the filter so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. Hold on. That's funny. Wait, what if we did this one? Will it show up? Oh, no. What? what? <laughs> Sorry, it's so funny. All right, I'm going to get rid of all filters right now. Okay, just, just so we can paint. I got rid of filters. <laughs> but that's really funny. All right. So again, I'm tapping my colors. If you're if you're coloring, you're blending like in a, almost like a circular scribble type motion. Okay. But get all this background done first. <clears throat> Look, 
see, I have so much water in my paint, it's so drippy. That's okay. I don't, really, I don't do anything with these papers after I'm done. The samples I keep, these I don't. All the background, it's got that celestial look to it. <clears throat> Around all my little flames here. get off on here I'm gonna go over our next few lessons okay even though like I said they're always posted on my page under the events tab this color on here quick so I can get to the actual moon itself. All right. Get to the meat and potatoes of the painting. <laughs> you get the idea with the background though, right? And then over here with the blue, you do light blue and white and stuff. So now, thanks, Samira, thanks. Okay. So now I'm going to fill in my moon. So my moon himself, his, himself, whatever, however you want to say it. He is like a light, I added like a dark blue and added white to it to give me like a, almost like a periwinkle color, I guess you'd say. I love that color. That and like Tiffany blue or Robin's egg blue, those are my favorite blues. All right, so I'm filling him in. All right. This lighter blue. Oops, I got my brush in the black paint and that made it a gray blue. I need to fix it. Hold on. All right, there we go. Okay, so I'm filling in. I'm going to show you how to do the little craters on them that I did. Okay. Those come in after you paint the base color of him. So you want to get all the base colors on first, right? And then you go back. I'm trying to go around my lines because I made my paint too thick so I won't be able to paint over them where you'll see them so just trying to go around them so get your whole base of your moon on and again guys we always work at different speeds when we're coloring and stuff that's why I just keep going um, because if you missed anything or whatever, you just play the video back just because these are recorded. Uh, and I don't want to like wait. I can't wait up for everybody to get to the same point I am when we're coloring and stuff. Because then when people go back to watch the video, they're going to be like, what the heck? 
this video is so long. Okay. So I have the base of my moon down. So I want to kind of give him some of those little crater things. So I have the darker blue on my brush and I'm kind of just tapping. So again, if you're painting, you kind of do it this way. If you're drawing, you could draw the monster. They're almost like half circles. Sorry, my brush is very, this brush is very old, right? Kind of give the idea of craters, right? <clears throat> You give them some shadowing along the belly area, like along the front edge of him, some shading with the darker blue. Okay, over his eye a little bit. So this just gives him some depth, okay? So it's not so flat looking. So when you're coloring, you go in with your darker blues and stuff and along the edges, give him a little bit more depth with the colors, but yeah, like you draw your little craters all over the place, uh, however many you want. Okay. And then I did his eye. I'm going to, I'm just using marker because it's so tiny and I didn't bring my small brush over. I'm doing the pupil, obviously black, but then you can do the iris color, whatever you want. I did a dark blue on mine, but you don't have to do it that way. All right, let me get, hold on one second. Before I do my son, I want to throw on that light background color, the light blue. Okay. So and you'll see, see how much difference that, ooh, drip it, drip it, drip it. It's because I'm throwing so much water in my paint right now to get a good quick coating, but you get the idea. And then I can go blend a little bit in, see? The lines are kind of blurred where they meet, okay? Where the two blues meet, you kind of want to add one into the other, so they join. Okay, see, they're kind of blurred into one another. Let me get through all my little flamey things here. So I'm throwing on my background color here. And obviously if you're painting, once your dark blue is dry, you can go in and add your little stars and stuff. Um, if you're drawing, you can add them in whenever you want. Or like using color pencils or crayons, obviously. All right, so I'll just throw on my blue, my light blue sky background so I can get to the sun itself. Okay, let me add another piece of aluminum foil on my palette here because I have too much blue. Okay. All right, so I'm going to mix a little bit of yellow and a little bit of orange to give me that um, really pretty, it's almost like a tangerine color center of my sun. So I'm getting a yellow paint out. If there's any left in this bottle. Okay, yellow and my orange. What I, and guys, your colors do not have to be exact, okay, as mine. I'm going to change my water out. Or I'm going to have a brown looking sun with the blue mixed with the orange. <clears throat> All right, so my center, the center of my orange, the center, I said the center of my orange, the center of my sun. <laughs> I'm mixing to kind of make a, it's yellow, but it's got a bright little bit of orange to it, okay? So, <laughs> I'm doing that first. Okay, so it's almost like a sunflower yellow. It's so, you know, a little darker, but very, real, real vibrant, all right? So you're gonna do all the big parts on your sun, all right? Avoid the eyes, the mouth to begin with. I'm, just, I'm doing this very quick because we all work at different paces. I know you, some of you might be way ahead of me. Some of you might be way behind me. You can always go back and rewatch it. You don't even have to stay on to watch the actual coloring process. 
I just like to hang out with you guys. I feel confident that you guys have, are capable of doing that on your own, but I think it's fun staying on and coloring in. So I'm getting my bright yellow orange on the base of my sun first, okay? So the whole base of my sun. <clears throat> my moon side a little bit. That's fine though. This is not my final. <laughs> that one's my good one. This is my quick tutorial one. All right, so I have my base on there. Now I'm adding a little bit of red to my palette because she, and again, mine's a girl. Yours does not have to be a girl. I'm doing the lips red. You can do you want to do lips yellow you can you could do lips black whatever you want there are no rules in my class so give her some bright lips this is like that statement red i'm gonna go out and make a statement with that <laughs> and then the same thing with the eyebrows i use that same vibrant red fill in my eyebrows Doo -doo. She's very flamey. Lots of flame stuff on her. Look, look how fast I'm painting here. I'm going all out of my lines. All right. <clears throat> so your eyes, like I said, I did brown eyes on my sample. Okay. You don't have to do brown eyes, but I'm going to do them again up here. Brown eyes. I'm actually gonna color in my pupil now with a marker just because I have it on hand and it's just easier to fill that in. So obviously I color in my pupils. And then my lashes too, you would do, you'd do black, the lashes we drew in, those will be black. <clears throat> but once you do your pupils, then you're gonna do the iris part of your eye. And again, mine are brown. Worst brush right here. I need to toss this brush. I probably had it for I don't know four years, which is a ridiculous amount of time for a paintbrush. <laughs> you should see how many. I probably have three thousand brushes in my house for my business. It's crazy. Half of them probably are not that great, <clears throat> like that one. Okay. Now I'm gonna do the little flames around her her head. Not with that brush. Um. So I'll use the one I was using. So the flames around her head are just combination of kind of this color here and the lip color. So I'm just adding my red into my orange and yellow. So it's just a deeper version of those two. And then you're just gonna fill in your flames. Now I'm just gonna go crazy with this because it's okay if it's out of the lines on mine. Again, I don't keep these papers when I'm done. <clears throat> These are just my quick tutorials. So the only thing after this, guys, is just don't forget is to do your stars on your night sky, right? That's important to get your stars in there. All right, let me finish this up and then I'm gonna show you guys what we're doing tonight and for the rest of this week. I still have to make samples for Sunday and next week. So I gotta do that. <clears throat> All right, so you get the idea, okay? That is our sun and moon. I'm gonna push this back, I'll just show you guys real quick the next few classes. Hold on, I have them here. All right, so tonight's class, Tonight's class, we're doing the theater masks, comedy and tragedy. Okay, that's at 6.30 Eastern Standard Time. And then tomorrow at 1, we are doing a whale. Okay, so that's at 1 o'clock tomorrow, the whale. It's a humpback whale. 
And then there's no 6.30 class on Fridays because I do an 8 o'clock class that like the parents, oh, parents can join in any class. Don't get me wrong when I say this. But this time, this way they're done work, they're sitting and they've relaxed for a little bit, but they can come and join a class too. We're doing, um, oops, sorry, the tree of life, okay? So it's got the tree and the roots and this beautiful, uh, I love, I just love this one. This beautiful night background and the lake or, I don't know, it's like a reflection of itself. So anyway, that's what we're doing tomorrow night at eight o'clock, okay? So anybody, anybody and everybody, kids, adults, whoever, join in for all of my classes. But this one's a little bit later in the evening, so the parents have time to settle in for the night um, and relax a little bit and then hop on and join us. And then Saturday, give me one moment here. So Saturday at one o'clock, we're doing a dream catcher. That's Saturday at one, okay, the dream catcher. And then Saturday at 6.30 is a, family one i don't have it on me it's in my garage but it's two big two panels but anyway it's in my events it is a um it's a beautiful uh bright colored rainbowy background and then it's got birds um the silhouettes of birds on trees okay the dream catchers at one o'clock on saturday okay that's one o'clock on saturday is the dream catcher and guys all my events are always listed under my events tab so you can go back and check those at any time i constantly am updating them all right, so I will see you back again at 6.30 tonight. We will be doing the comedy and tragedy masks. Um, and those are fun too, because you can kind of decorate them however you want. If you have like parents, don't get mad at me for saying this, but if you have glitter at home, <laughs> that's a fun way to decorate them. Um, or those little sticky jewels, whatever you have. But anyway, I'll see you guys back here at 6.30 tonight. Have a wonderful afternoon, bye.